Hey guys, Adrian Kigu here for the Tech World, and today we're taking an app review look at the app called To Do by the guys at Apigo. Now this is a $10 app. Now this is a great uh, productivity tool. One of those, uh, it is highly priced in the app store, around $10. Most apps are around $2, but this one is a really great to-do list that adds, you know, that simple interface of adding to-dos at the same time adding those great back-end features to really, really boost the app's, you know, uh, usage and, uh, you know, uh, how much, how productive it is it really is a great app so uh first off i'm going to show you here is the interface this is the as soon as you boot up the or you know open the app this is what you see and down here in the bottom panel this is basically refresh this one will allow you to add context to your uh to do's this one will allow you to add tags so for example if i want to add a certain tag right now i only have one for homework i can tag certain items with that this is your search functionality so again you can search tags or search certain words so, for example, I was typing in homework there. You can see my math homework, which was due that day, shows up. Uh, under settings here, you can look under stuff like rotation lock, because with the new to-do, they just added landscape view to add certain stuff. So you can uh, do a software rotation lock. Uh, you can do sorting, you know, how you want your to-do, your tasks to sort. You can look under general for some, uh, you know, theming, if you want to theme your... Uh, the way it looks and stuff like that. Focus list, uh, which I'll mention that in a second. You can you know mess around with settings in there too. Alerts, basically you can. What's really cool is you can add an email address to alert you five minutes before initial you know task is due. That way, if you're at home and you have like Thunderbird or Outlook open, it'll allow you to remind you. You can add synchronization for a certain service like uh, the Remember the Milk, which is a uh, online service, Apigo Sync, so that's their own service, or Toodledo, which is another, I guess, their services. So if you have other services online you want to uh, sync it with, you can do that as well. Uh, so that's really, really great. Again, this is what I was talking about, the extra functionality that you get within the app. Uh, now, if you go into information, you can view third-party apps that to do is compatible with, that you can sync certain information with. So if you, want, if you have any of these apps, you may want to check out how they work with to do. All right, now going back to the main interface. All basically shows you everything that you have under your to-do list for a certain, you know, to-do dates and stuff like that. Uh, focus here shows you uh, what to do on that certain day, so, you know, brings it to your attention. Star would be your favorites if you know you have anything that you need to keep an eye on. Uh, inbox basically shows a place you can sort it. Or you can add personalized ones, like, for example, I made one for home, for work, and I can set those, you know, I can check those out. Uh, and of course, you can add you can add other ones like personal lists and stuff like that. I just have one for home and work as of now. Now, if you go into all here, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a task. So these these tasks, for example, have no what do you call that? Uh, what do you call it? No due date. And I can scroll down here and see the ones that I've completed out of those. And if you want to delete task again, it's as simple as swiping your finger, hitting delete. Uh, now, uh, for example, here I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna click click this one that says clean desk slash organize cables. And I'm going to add a note here. It's simple. If you don't want to add, you know, certain subnotes to remember when you're doing the task. So I'll say uh, bundle wires and clean glass. So, then, you know, that's just a certain reminder when I'm cleaning my desk. Since my desk is glass, I want to make sure I bundle all my wires once I do it and I reorganize everything. Uh, now, you can change the type of task it is. For example, this one just a normal to-do. If you have a project that you want to do, you can want you know, to branch out, as you can see there. You can do stuff like that. You can do checklists. I'll show you that later on. Now, if I change it to a project, you know, there's some other variables that go into it. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to keep it a normal thing. And also, though, if you see there, they have some other cool stuff, like you can set a reminder to call a certain contact in your phone book, email a contact, SMS a contact, visit a certain location that uses the GPS maps, and visit a website. So, you know, somebody told you about a website, you, you don't want to forget it, go ahead and put it in there, and you can remember to visit it later on. Now, due dates, due times uh, are also scheduled here. You can insert, use a calendar or you can use your other view, you can set it to today, you can set it to next, uh, certain due times to next week, sorry, I should go to due date here, uh, you can set it to tomorrow, next week, etc. Uh, if you have a due time, you can set that as well, so if it's due, like if it's a meeting or a deadline for a project, if it repeats, now this is, you know, also helpful for bills, you know, something you have to pay monthly, you can quarterly, semi-annually, etc., you can remind yourself. Uh, now, again, the list is just basically where you want to organize it in. Uh, I'm just going to leave it in the inbox for now. You can add tags, search it later on, and you can email it, add it to a notebook, or move it if you please. And with that, uh, yeah, so now let's say you want to kind of reorganize these. 
it's as simple as clicking this little priority thing right here and holding down the thing you want to put, you know, where you want to put it. You can uh, separate it. So this is really easy for rescheduling. So let's say something was due today and you want to move it to, you know, due in a month. You can just simply hold on to it and then, you know, move it to wherever you need to move it uh, if you have certain stuff that's due or overdue. Uh, now you can also, as you see here, click a certain task, schedule for next week, schedule it using the calendar for next month, whatever you want to do, really, really powerful tool. Or you can move it if you want to move it to, you know, assign it to a checklist, move it to a list, add tags, or assign to context. Very, very powerful tool. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that now. Hit done. Now adding a task, there's two ways to do it. You can do it the, the way I showed you earlier, you know, doing the whole task type. Or you can simply do it uh, through new task. And again, like I said, it supports landscape mode, so if you feel you type faster this way, I'll say up, or whoops, I actually clicked something there. I'll say upload to do review. And that, I'll click that, and I'll put it right there. And again, I can change your priority settings of it. Priority settings will basically tell me how, you know, I can look visually on how, you know, important it is from those little bars, if you guys can see that right there, on how important my certain task is. Right, so I'll set that to high, and I can go back here, and there it is, it's scheduled in, I can simply check it off once I upload this video, I can go ahead and hit check once it's, uh, you know, done uploading. Anyways, uh, with that, the last thing I do want to show you is how the, the checklist look. Now, checklist here, you can see videos to record, uh, I have those videos coming up, so that's a little sneak preview there. Uh, also, you know, I have another list right here and things to buy. Now, it's very simple, you got a checklist to the little plus button, name it what you want, it. set a due date if you want. Uh, and then you add certain items, you know, you just add single items, you can add, you know, uh, whoops, you can add whatever you want, you can make, you know, multiple lists for your grocery list, uh, things to buy like I did, or whatever you want to do, it's up to you. So this is the checklist functionality, very easy, and uh, it just adds all those little sub menus here so you can check them off and, uh, you know, check it and grade it out once it is checked off. So guys, that is the to-do app, a very, very functional and powerful productivity tool. In my rating, I personally give it a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, a very great app for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Check it out if you're into productivity tools. Very, very great app. There's a little bit flaw, but you know, with 4.5 out of 5, that's a pretty flawless rating, guys. It does what you would, you know, ask it to do. Has synchronization reminders. It works with other apps. A really, really great to-do app. You know, other than it being priced pretty high, that's only the other 0.5 uh, that I'm like, you know, I wish they could lower it down. But, you know, you are really getting a lot of functionality for the price, a lot of bang for your buck. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this review. Check out the, our website at adrianstech.com for more reviews. Of course, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching.